Hey, welcome to Module 3 of the Webinar Income System, Getting Traffic to Your Webinars. I'm going to talk now about how to identify JV partners. How are you going to find those joint venture partners that you want to uh, do webinars for you? Here's what you're going to learn in this module. I'm going to talk about the JV Blueprint. Uh, I'm going to talk about identifying JVs with lists, with mailing lists, and how to identify JVs on leaderboards. Let's talk about this JV Blueprint. I'm going to repeat this several times in a lot of modules because I want this to be ingrained in your mind. You want to first identify. You want to track. You want to network with your JVs. You want to communicate. You want to follow up. That's the blueprint. We're going to talk specifically about identify right now. So you want to identify JVs with lists, with email lists, large or small. And here's how you're going to do it. You're going to do research on finding uh, newsletters, people with newsletters. You're going to find people with blogs and find people with customer lists. So here's how to find people with newsletters. Um, all you do is you go to Google and you type in whatever niche you're looking for. So say if I'm in the diet niche, I type in diet newsletters. That's all you need to do. If I was in you know, real estate newsletters, but anything, type the keyword in, space, newsletters, and you're gonna find a wealth of websites that all have newsletters. Now let me bring up one of these. If I go to diet.com, You'll know if they have a newsletter if you see something on this on their website that looks like this. Let me refresh this here so you can see. You'll see something that says sign up for your free weekly email. When the weather's right. All right. That means they're capturing emails right there. So all you need to do is put your email in there. Now, here's what I would do. Okay, this is this is important. Um, get a separate email. Okay, go out and get a separate Gmail and that's what you use to subscribe because you want to subscribe to all these newsletters because you want to see how frequently they're emailing out and you'll get an idea. If they're emailing out frequently, they probably have a really good and responsive list. Okay, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of sites out there that have newsletters. Here's another one, dietdetective.com. Anytime you see something like this where they're collecting information with an email address, it's an email list and it's potential that you'll be able to contact some of these people. Now, here's the thing. Don't let it discourage you if you've got these big companies like Diet.com and you know the Diet Detective. Um, they all have lists. They all want to make money and some of them will be happy to mail out, out, out your offer. So, here's another resource for you. Uh, new-list.com and there's several sites out here like this. I'll put this link will be out in the resources area and as we find new sites to help you locate newsletters, we'll put those out there as well. But this is basically a directory of of people that have submitted that said, "Hey, I do have an email list." So, if I go into the finance and real estate list, you can see all these people that say they have lists. Now some of these will be outdated, some of them won't be. Some of them will have big lists, some of them will have small lists. It's just all a matter of filtering through them. Uh, let me go ahead and show you one here. Here's one called Daily Buy Sell Advisor. They talk about right here um, exactly what their list is about. Sometimes they'll even say how many people are on their list. So if I go right to his site here, dailybuyselladdvisor.com, I can see all the newsletters. And look at this, these guys mail out pretty much what a couple times a week two three times a week and you can actually get an idea of of what their newsletters are all about and so they this is all some investing stuff so they've got my guess is these guys have a really powerful list and so you know this is definitely someone that you would want to talk to so that's uh that's a great resource right there directory of easings um, Charlie Page. There's a guy named Charlie Page who runs a very successful directory of easings. Now, easings are the same thing as it's basically electronic magazines or basically newsletters. And people get these, and you can advertise in those easings, or sometimes you can get those um, easing order owners to do a specific solo mailing for you. So he, this is a membership that he charges for. We'll put this in the the resources area, but. Um, He's done a phenomenal job of targeting um, different easings, and it's not just internet marketing easings, everybody. Yeah, this are easings in all kinds of, of different niches. So Charlie's done a great job on that. Um, highly recommend um, his the director of easings. Um, JV Notify Pro. I've talked about this in previous models, specifically for people that are in inter internet marketing. Um, if you go to JV Notify Pro. 
and go through especially the areas where uh, the JV Notify Pro announcements and archives where people are announcing their different launches pretty much all of these guys that are announcing their launches have lists I mean some of them have some of them are just getting started but some of them are are big people just go ahead and um, start jotting these names down these are people that you want to target that all have different lists um, next uh, what I want to talk about next is um, um, after you've identified those people um, with those lists, now you want to do your detective work. Okay, you've got a, you may just have a name, but now you've got to do your detective work and get this information so you can know how to contact these people or start a, you know, a, a you know, relationship, trying to figure out, you know, get to know these people. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you how to track that data next. But let me show you how to start doing that initial re research. Um, just um, for one of the places I like to go to is um, is Google. I'm mean, sorry, go I like to go to Facebook, um, and I like to Google, go to Google as well. So, for example, um, if I wanted to go to and, and, and I found someone on leaderboard, say I found Alan right here, I just typed his name in there, and guess what? It popped right up. A lot of times, you can go in and immediately see if this person is in your niche or you know um, related now I already see I, I don't know Alan but we already have 36 friends in common and I know that a lot of these people are internet marketers so I'm gonna go ahead and add Alan as a friend here and send that request and hopefully he'll accept my request now uh, one thing I probably should have done right there is when you sent the request um, I, I probably should have written something in there um, about uh, hey Alan I've been following you for a long time you know, or whatever. You you put something really sincere in there. I've heard you do great things. Looking forward to connecting with you. Make sure you put a note. Now, I didn't do that because, um, you know, I've got several friends in common with Alan, and I'm just assuming that he's going to accept me. But I probably should have put a note in there. So, the other thing is, I could have gone just to Google and typed in his name there, and gone straight to you know his website, and I could see. All right, he's already in my niche, so I'm going to definitely. Uh, track him. So look, what you want to do is you want to capture, you want to find emails, you want to find phone number, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, anything you can collect to be able to get in touch with this uh, future, hopefully potential joint venture partner. Now I'm going to talk about leaderboards now. Um, what is a leaderboard? Now, especially in the internet marketing industry, this is really prevalent. There's a lot of leaderboards. When someone does a launch, when they do a product launch, they'll have people promoting for them, and they'll it's basically the contest of, of who's in who's winning. Now, this is not just an internet marketing industry. There's other people that do this as well. However, I'm going to talk specifically and show you examples in the internet marketing industry. Um, so what you'll do is you'll sign up for people who are doing launches. Like you can go to JV Notify Pro, and by the way, like they have this cool calendar feature here, where you can pretty much go in here and see um, when the different launches are happening. And by the way, there's birthdays here as well. That's a really good thing to collect as well when someone's having a birthday. It's a great way to get in there and to mark and to get an introduction by wishing people a happy birthday or sending a card or whatever. Okay, so you can see all these different launches in here. Now, if I were to go in here, and what you'll notice, uh, let me let me go in here. All of these different launches will have a place where they'll talk about their launch. Here's where my launch is going to be, and here's where you sign up for it. So I can come in here and um, you know see see their you know see Matt's uh, intro video. I can come in here and sign up for the information for that launch and then that basically uh, then I have access to to know who's on those leaderboards and, and of course it's something I could promote if I wanted to as well but if I'm specifically just trying to find people on the leaderboard this is kind of like a little sneaky trick to get in there and get an idea now let me show you what the leaderboards are so as people are as these launches happen um, they'll start posting you know the winners and who's getting the most traffic in that and it's called a leaderboard well Here's one that was back in August for Mobile Monopoly. Um, a great little product, by the way. Um, so you can see the leaderboard. They'll post in here and they'll, or they'll email out who's the list. Russell Brunson, Dave Gwendon, you know, I know several of these people because I've done um, work with them in the past. Eric Owens, um, I don't know Paul. Um, 
so there's several people here who I don't know. Um, so and look at this, who's on board? You know, here's the people that are all on board who have you know told them that they were going to promote. All these people right here should go on your potential JV list if this is your niche. Okay, so just a wealth of information here. Um, let me tell you what I do. Um, I collect all this information. In fact, um, I actually have my office in the Philippines where I have um, my workers there. But I started, even if I don't, you, know, you, you could do this too. I give this list and I send all these leaderboards to my person that I outsource with and say, listen, put this into my database and I just collect all this information. So they do a lot of that hard work for me. Uh, but of course, start out doing it yourself so you can understand. But eventually, you can outsource a lot of this work and make it make it even easier for you. Okay, so that's what a leaderboard is. Um, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with that information after you've found the information on the leaderboards on these newsletters. I'm going to show you how the best way to track this so you can start contacting these people. So, what did you just learn? We talked about the JV blueprint. We identified JVs with lists. We identified JVs with leaderboards. And what's next? How to track those JV partners. We'll see you on the next video, everybody.